So this question is a system of equations question. So system of, I'll just say EQ for equations. Uh, we know that because we're provided with two equations stacked on top of each other vertically, which is exactly how you would know on any question on the SAT that you have a system of equations question. And generally, to solve system of equations questions, we will use either the elimination method or the substitution method. So hopefully that's all review for you. If it's not, hopefully you took some note of that. Um, but let's read the question and see exactly what we're being asked to do. So the question says, what is the solution x, y to the given system of equations? All right, so really straightforward. So I am a big fan of using, um, there's actually a couple of things we could do here. Hmm. We could either use elimination or substitution. Let's just show both methods here. So I'm going to start with elimination, which I'll just label as E here for space. So to eliminate, let me just erase this for now for clarity. To eliminate these, or to eliminate a variable, which is the first step in the process of elimination with the system of equations, I can subtract the bottom equation from the top equation. In doing so, this y will become negative, this negative 14x will become actually a positive 14x, and this negative 7 will become a positive 7. And that, that would lead to the y's, the y variables being eliminated, which is exactly what I wanted. And then I have 18x plus 14x, which is 32x. And 25 plus 7, which is 32. And of course, that should have been a 0 there since the y's were eliminated. Now I can subtract 32 from both sides. And I'd have negative 32 is equal to 32x. I divide both sides by 32. And I have negative 1 equals x. So knowing that x is negative 1 actually takes me directly to choice B. I wouldn't need to figure out what the y value is because choice B is the only answer that has an x value of negative 1. Now, if I were to have gone the substitution route, I could have said, well, I already have y isolated in both equations. I could just take the y value from the bottom and replace this y value up top. I'm going to substitute it, which means I'd have a new equation that says negative 14x minus 7 equals 18x plus 25, right? I substituted the, the y value, right? y equals this here, which means it also equals the y value there. So I replace it, and that is how we use substitution. So to complete this process, I am going to subtract 18x from both sides of the equation, I'm going to add 7 to both sides of the equation to get my x terms on the left and my numbers on the right. Negative 14x minus 18x is negative 32x. The 7s are gone. The 18x's are gone. And 25 plus 7 is 32. And again, I divide by negative 32 this time. And what I'm left with is that x is equal to negative 1. So again, that would also point to choice B. Um, I'm not showing how to find y because it's not necessary here. But if you really wanted to find it, all you would do is take your x equals negative 1 and replace either you know the top, the x in the top equation with negative 1 or the x in the bottom equation with negative 1 and then solve for y. Right. So not necessary here. But on another question, it might be necessary, and that's how you would find it.